Welcome to the first NFL Week 1 Picks here by me, Miles, or Milk. And we are going to be doing this week by week. So if this is something that you enjoy, make sure that you follow. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoy it as well. And we will have more of these. So we're going to look at every game here. We're going to go into detail. And I'll tell you which ones I will be doing my play-by-play -play commentary on. We'd love to have you all be a part of that. So let's start off here on Thursday night. Our first game of the year, Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens are going to go on the road to take on the Kansas City Chiefs. It's going to be a tough one overall. We got two of the greatest quarterbacks in the league. Uh, we have one of the best running quarterbacks versus one of the best pocket passers slash evading the rush. So this should be a lot of fun. But if I'm going to go with this one, to be completely honest with you, sometimes Kansas City gets a little too full of themselves sometimes. They're going to be celebrating their Super Bowl. I got to go with Baltimore in this one. Then right up next, the Brazil game, which are also going to be live doing commentary for. We're going to be live here on YouTube. We'll be live on Twitch and TikTok as well. So make sure you check out all those. We'd love to have you there. Also, definitely encourage you to go check out the Twitch because we got some pretty cool stuff there. So we'll be live through all of them, though. But come hang out with us. So the Packers technically at the Eagles I do feel like the Packers come out on top here I feel like the team has been better overall especially with the momentum that they're going to be carrying in from the end of last year and honestly I'm not too sold on the Eagles I feel like Nick Sirianni may not be the guy but we'll see how they do this year and we'll see if Jalen Hurts can get back to that MVP caliber play then finally getting to the Sunday games one of the early Sunday games we have the Steelers taking on the Falcons the Falcons have a lot of new weapons and the offense looks good none more important than their guy Kirk Cousins this guy could elevate that team quite a bit especially from the past having guys like Ritter and Taylor Heineke so this is a step above but they're taking on a new Pittsburgh Steelers team that is going to be led by Russell Wilson so it's going to be a lot of fun I think this will be a good matchup. However, I got to go with the Falcons. I like what they've got here going, and I think overall they should have the hand up in this matchup. Then we have the Arizona Cardinals and the Buffalo Bills. Now, if you've heard me talk on many different things, whether it be streams or any other kind of sports-related content, I feel like the Cardinals are a bit of a sleeper team that nobody's talking about. However, I don't think they're good enough to beat the Bills, so we're going to go Bills in this early Sunday game. Moving on here to some more Sunday games, we have the Titans at the Bears. Now, I think that the Titans are having some potential there. Will Levis, not a bad dude. The only thing that's wrong with him is he picks Hellman's over Dukes. Dukes is a superior manage. I do not care. Let me know in the comment section if you watch this point. Which do you like better, Dukes or Hellman's? Anyway, they are taking on the Bears, and I think the Bears just have too many weapons. I think that they have set up him with the best weapons that you could ever have okay and don't blame my panthers for that but he does look pretty good for that overall and then we have patriots at the Bengals. should be a lot of fun here except if you're a patriots fan i don't think the patriots are going to have a good season and the Bengals. and it just got reported that jamar chase is practicing with them or at least walking out there with them so i think that the Bengals should win this one pretty easily then we have a huge afc south matchup early on in the season as the texans take on the colts a bit of a rivalry here the texans have a lot of new weapons themselves and they have really built a solid team i think the Texans could be a sleeper team to go all the way this year but they're at the colts and the colts looking to be improving upon bringing back anthony richardson they looked good last year they did some decent things but now they have their franchise quarterback so we'll see who comes out on top but overall i do have to go with the texans i just think that they're too good and have too many great weapons moving on between the jags at the Dolphins. This is another early game here. The Jaguars looking to see if they can get Trevor Lawrence to keep elevating this team. They just signed him a huge contract extension. I'm excited to see how the team does, but the Dolphins, I feel like, are just too much firepower. That offense was really good here, and hey, this is a warm game. This is a battle of Florida, but since this is a warm game anyway, I gotta go with the Dolphins in this one. Another early game. It's my Panthers taking on the Saints. I really am excited for this one. Number one, I want to see a lot of the everything, like how Bryce Young is going to do. How's this offensive line going to do? Is the Panthers truly able to have a second pass rush besides Jadavian Clowney? Um, there's a lot of questions with that. Is it DJ Johnson? Is this going to be a good year for the Panthers? Can they just show momentum? I'm excited to see Dave Knauss. I really think they will. And I think that that season starts out with them getting a win against the Saints. I like the Saints defense. I think they're actually pretty underrated. I don't feel like people talk about that enough. 
but I feel like that offense is something that people can be kind of iffy, and I don't think that they really have a problem with the weapons. I think it's more Derek Carr. I don't think he's a bad quarterback. I just don't think he, he elevates that team as other players could elevate that team at the quarterback position. I do think it's a good team overall. We love Chris Olave. I don't know the Michael Thomas situation. I think he's a free agent. I don't think he's coming back anyway. But Alvin Kamara, very solid. And then uh, the Swiss Army Knife, Taysom Hill, which I know you've heard that a million times. I'm not going to focus on that. I feel like the Saints are a good team. I think that they have some things they need to change. But I feel like they're not going to get it done this year. But uh, I'm going to put my Panthers getting the win on the road. Also, just one more thing to put on that. The Panthers defense is really good, and they have the whole staff returning this year, which is absolutely perfect. So we do love that. Another early game, and this is the last of the early games, we have the Vikings taking on the Giants in New York. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. Both of these situations are kind of very meh. This may be the game of the early window that I'm like, I don't really care about personally. But I, of course, I want to see the score. I'm going to go with the Giants at home. I think their defense is really good. I think that that's going to be enough to get to their quarterback, uh, Sam Darnold in this case. Unfortunately for them, J.J. McCarthy out for the season after his injury. But I don't know. We'll see. Daniel Jones, not necessarily terrible in my opinion. He didn't do too hot there in the preseason. But I, I don't think he's as bad as some people make it out to be. But we'll see. It may be time to move on from him, though. He may just be too far gone. In the afternoon games as well, we have the Raiders taking on the Chargers. Both of these teams not too great overall. However, I do like the quarterback situation here with the Chargers more. I've got Justin Herbert and with Harbaugh getting the win, taking on the Raiders. I think they're going to be starting Gardner Minshew. They might have Aiden O'Connell at some point, but i got to go with the Chargers. Then we have the Broncos country, and they're going to be riding to take on the Seahawks in a former Super Bowl rematch, but this time the caliber of the team's not the exact same. I got to go with the Seahawks. I feel like they're a better team overall here. I feel like the Broncos are in a bit of a rebuild, and they have a lot to get back because after that trade that they made for Russell Wilson, I think they absolutely got fleeced. I feel like I've not seen a trade that heavily favored in the opposite direction that we thought it would go in my life. It was such a heavy trade. Uh, quarterback ended up being better out. Geno Smith's been great. He, even though he did kind of take a little bit of a dip next last year, we'll see if he can get back on track to doing as well as he did. But not too bad overall. Then the game that has got two of the more dedicated fan bases here, the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Cleveland Browns. This one's in Cleveland. This is an afternoon game. I'll be able to watch this. Uh, I'm excited for that before I go live later that night. For the game between the Rams and the Lions. Just a little spoiler alert there. But Cowboys at the Browns. I got to go with the Browns. I feel like they have a good team overall. I think that they can only improve from where they were at last year. Uh, losing Deshaun Watson. Losing Nick Chubb. Very frustrating situation for them. But they still made it far. I think they went, what, 11-6 of six or something like that. So they had a good time last year. They were able to do well. And I feel like that defense is great. Miles Garrett is absolutely phenomenal. Cowboys, on the other hand, I don't know their situation. Running back-wise, it's kind of meh. They're going to have Dowdle. I think that's going to be their number one guy. I just I worry about the team overall. They didn't really add a lot this offseason. They kind of lost players. I just don't think the Cowboys will improve. I still think they make the playoffs, but I do think that the Browns are the better team uh, from top to bottom in this one. Coaching and everything, too. So Then, Sunday afternoon game, we got the Washington Commanders on the road to take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And I think I'm going to have to go with the Buccaneers here until they prove me otherwise wrong that they're bad. I got to keep going with them. The Commanders, on the other hand, new team, new situation. They got Dan Quinn, who's an experienced coach. I think that defense is going to be tough. But I think this could be a fairly low-scoring game, but I got to go with the Buccaneers to get that win there. Then, of course, the Sunday night football game that I just mentioned a minute ago, Detroit Lions at home taking on the Los Angeles Rams. Lions are going to be so determined this year, in my opinion. I have them actually going to the Super Bowl very early on. I do not think they win it, but I have to go with the Lions. I got the Lions at home just because I think they have so many great weapons. Laporta, Amon Ross St. Brown, he just got paid. Jameer Gibbs, this team is loaded with weapons. The defense is the question, the corners in particular. You can pass against the Lions in the past. Have they improved that enough in the offseason to where they're going to be a, more of a... a lockdown defense where you know can they stop the pass that'll be nice and interesting to see this year 
but uh, I do like the Lions in this one overall. Then we have the most questionable game of the week. We have the Jets at the 49ers. Now, we have Aaron Rodgers returning. We hope to see him play the whole game. We all know last year he played like three plays. That was the season for Aaron Rodgers. The question marks around the Jets never stop at that point. There's always a lot of rumblings that everything's going bad. Aaron Rodgers is a diva. Everything's not great there. But will the Jets be able to get this one done in San Francisco? And my answer to that is no. I think that the 49ers are just too good overall. Top to bottom, it's a team. They're gonna. I don't know if they're going to have like a Super Bowl hangover or anything like that. They lost the game in overtime where apparently they didn't even know the rules of how overtime works. That's kind of frustrating overall. I do feel for the 49ers and their fans because they have made it to a couple Super Bowls as of late, not been able to win it. But uh, even though they've won Super Bowls in the past, it's still, I get very frustrating here. So this is my week one picks. Just to run through it again, I got the Ravens over the Chiefs, the Packers over the Eagles, the Falcons over the Steelers, the Bills over the Cardinals, the Bears over the Titans, the Bengals over the Patriots, the Texans over the Colts, the Dolphins over the Jaguars, the Panthers over the Saints, the Giants over the Vikings, the Chargers over the Raiders, the Seahawks over over the Broncos, the Browns over the Cowboys, the Buccaneers over the Commanders, the Lions over the Rams, and the 49ers over the Jets. And if I had to go ahead and say now who I think is going to win the Super Bowl this year, I have the Baltimore Ravens beating the Detroit Lions. This is all preseason stuff, but I have the Baltimore Ravens beating the Detroit Lions in the Super Bowl. I think it would be a high-scoring game. I'd say it's going to be 34-31. Ravens over Lions very early on, okay, but I just wanted to throw that out there, and hey, we'll see, and we'll review these picks and see how we did last week, or the previous week, next week, we'll see how we did in week one, and then give you my picks for next week, so what do you think, am I absolutely crazy, is there something about my picks that you say, you know what, this dude knows no idea what he's talking about he has no clue what he's talking about he is just dumb if you think that go to the comment section let me know about it also if you agree with me let me know about it again we will be live for a few different games uh during this year where we're going to be doing play-by-play -play commentary and just to let you know which games those will be uh we're going to be live for this game right here thursday night football we'll be live streaming it the Brazil game on Friday night will be live with that as well. Saturday night, there's no NFL games, but we will be doing the college game. NC State taking on Tennessee. So if you'd like to see that, definitely come hang out with us Saturday night. We'll be doing that. Then on Sunday night, we will have the Rams taking on the Lions down here. Should be a good matchup like we talked about as well. I, it's a rematch of a playoff game from last year. I think that'll be a lot of fun. And then on Monday night, we got the Jets and the 49ers. I think that will be an interesting game. I don't know how I feel about it yet. It depends on the Jets and which version of the Jets we get. I'm worried there's too much toxicity there for the succession, for them to succeed. I mean, so that is what we have overall. Now, I would like to invite y'all to all these live streams. Like I said, I'll be live every Thursday. Uh, every Thursday, Sunday, and Monday, I'll be doing all these live streams for this. Also, those other days, I'm going to be trying to stream almost every single day. I want to start playing games with y'all. So if you like uh, variety games or anything like that, let me know. Uh, come hang out with us and enjoy the stream. It's going to be a good time, but it should be a lot of fun. But again, make sure that you're subscribed. Give me a thumbs up like, and I would appreciate that a lot. But thanks again. I will see you guys in the next video, and uh, you have a good rest of your day.